All right, Taurus. They won't ignore us, baby. What is going on, my dears? It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vivra. It is Scorpion Red Tarot, and I am back at it again, one time for the one time. Yes, indeed. To let you know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of December 2020. Show me the monthly energy. You understand? So you guys, thank you so much for coming through. Hanging out with me, Rashi Rivera. Thank you so much to all my OGs, to all my newbies. Uh, for like, sharing, subscribing, and clicking this video. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I want to give a big shout out to everyone who has been supporting the page. Um, we got a few decks that are coming in through from the Amazon wish list. Thank you guys so much for checking out the Amazon wish list. I also just made a new purchase recently. This is the Vintage Keys um, Cardamancy deck from the lovely Miss La Divination. She is a YouTuber here that is a reader and this is her deck. So if you guys can, go check her out and support the other readers on YouTube. Shout out to Miss La Divination and I love this deck. All right. So um, I just want to give a big thanks and if anyone wants to send love these videos resonate if you want to um support the page um have it be by purchasing a reading or you know just send the love to the page um check out the description in this video check out the about tab on my youtube page it has all of my um information on how to connect with me i only do uh video readings i typically do them on google hangouts or on instagram messenger so if you would like to book a personal private reading with me like i said in the uh, description and in the about tab you'll see the pricing list you'll see the various forms to connect with me and you'll see the various forms to support as well so if you have any questions or concerns especially if you do not have instagram if you do not have instagram and you need to connect with me on google hangouts um for your reading email me scorpion red to gmail.com okay all right we are reloaded so Taurus, let's say a quick prayer over this energy, Father God. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here today. Thank you so much for elevating us. Thank you so much for our happiness, our growth, and you know, our hope for the future, Father God. I'm seeing a lot of just abundance being inspected in the future, Father God. I see a lot of um like grassroots development going on for the sign of Taurus. Um, things that we don't necessarily see is developing because it's, you know, it's, it's building a foundation. It's building its roots. So if we haven't necessarily seen it start to bud yet. So, but we know it's happening, Father God. So we thank you so much for everything that's going on that uh, we can't even see, but we know it's happening in our benefit, Father God. So thank you so much for our patience. Thank you so much for our self-knowing and, you know, inner development, Father God. We want to stay on our path in the name of Jesus. Father God, give us guidance for the sign of Taurus. They cannot ignore us and they will never do it. Not ever again, Father God. Give us Guidance for um, the sign of Taurus in December. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Amen. All right, Taurus, let's get into this. Now, listen, when I was doing the uh, <laughs> pre shuffle here, I kept seeing um, in this deck right here, I believe it, that's called the Tau, uh, Tau Oracle deck. I seen uh, a card with this woman with this big old belly. It was like she was pregnant, and then I was shuffling this deck over here, and then I seen the Empress, so I don't know what's going on, Taurus. I don't know if y'all are not, um, and I definitely heard the uh, unplanned um, pregnancy, so, because it was a lot of pregnant women going on in the pre-show, <laughs> so if you not, um, if you not expecting right now, then you know that you expecting Watch what you do. Oh, Jesus. Watch what you're doing, Taurus, because I definitely feel like it could be an unplanned pregnancy, something that you didn't necessarily see coming. So you got the envy in the reverse. All right, so that's good. That's good. That's good. But then you got the angel of love in the reverse. You got the broken heart and then the healer of ages in the reverse. So this ain't good, Taurus. Like, what's going on? I feel like you're coming out of, like, self-pity and self-loathing and feeling bad for yourself and looking at other situation and being upset because it's not your own. I, you, I feel like you guys are coming out of some level of depression. You're coming out of some state of lack. 
and I feel like you're coming out of a disposition where you were looking at the glass half full. You're trying to look at things. I mean, you're looking at things half empty. You're looking at it half full now. Like, you're trying to make a better way for yourself. But I feel like whatever caused you to go into this depression or the state of lack, it's, be it's because, like... You guys are trying to heal, but it's hard as fuck. Like, I def I feel like your heart is shut up, shut off to love. Um, and it, because you had to stop looking, you were very envious of someone being with someone else, and it's not you, it's not your situation anymore. You can't have that no more. Um, I did this, I can't tell, I can't read this any other way but love because this is love here. This is love here. Like, this with this nine right here, this is like a cycle that it's changed. It's ended. It's gone. Like, it's moved on. Like, you have to find a way to allow your heart to heal and move past this. I definitely see that you're trying not to be envious of the situation. You understand the change or why it needed to happen. I definitely feel like you're processing that. But I don't feel like you're in a position to love. Not at all. You just don't feel like love is surrounding you at this moment. I do feel like you are suffering deeply from heartbreak. And I want you to try a little bit harder to let this go. Because it's going to keep you in a state of sadness and lack. And the, healers, the healer of ages is in your possession. It's trying to like get you to come out of this. It's trying to get you to come out of this. But... I just feel like you're not listening. You're you're not ready to be healed. I feel like you're kind of just sitting there in this sadness, in this depression, and feeling sad for yourself. But at the same time, you're trying not to have like a jealous, envious outlook on the situation. You understand why things had to happen. It's just like you just... I feel like you feel like someone gave up to you. It's like they didn't have to go. You know, like you didn't have to be estranged from me and, and things had to go like that. And I just... Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, so let's let's get this... Let's find out what's going on with Tori. Alright, give me guidance for Tori. So clarify the envy for me, please. Clarifying. It's like you just want things to stop hurting. You just want the hurt to go away. You just don't know how to heal yourself. If you, it's like if you had the answers to to make things feel better and for things to get better, you would have been did that. You know, uh, you're definitely not in the position of love. So you got <laughs> you got the emperor and. And I ain't even gonna lie, like, this motherfucker sitting in the reverse. He's sitting sideways. Sitting sideways. Um, with the days. Sitting sideways. Hey. <laughs> I'm sorry. Listen, okay. Listen. So, I definitely feel like with this emperor being in the reverse, uh, you feel like you've lost your state of power or like you're in an in-between stage. Like, you know how powerful you are. I want to say you've kind of lost belief in yourself. And you're trying to pull yourself back around because it ain't really just like you to be sitting there like on some bum shit. Just laying around looking at the situation in a very pessimistic way. Not going outside. Letting the sun kiss your skin. Dressing the park. It's like tourists, they like to be fly. They like to be... You know, the life of the party. Like, Tauruses make... I love Taurus. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I love y'all sense of humor. Like, y'all have a nice... Y'all like Sour Patch Kids. It's like y'all want to punch them in the face and love them too because they're such fucking assholes. But they make you laugh with their little fucking fucked up ass humor. Like, I love... I love Taurus. I really, really do. But I know, like, I also know Taurus as well. When y'all feel like 
the money ain't coming in the way that it's supposed to and life is just beating you down like y'all can't be very lazy and lethargic at times and not pull yourself up out of off the couch y'all just sit there and just mope and just uh, uh. you know like no you know like I, this heart this thing fucked you up it just took you out we need like a clear like we need a heart resuscitation or we need a heart transplant or something because I really feel like you haven't been acting yourself Taurus like you have like you are a boss you a leader like you are a provider you are a protector I don't feel like you are in the correct energy right now Taurus you are the emperor but because you were too busy sitting back looking at someone else, you feel trying to play your position and shit like that. Like you lost sight. You lost sight of who you are. And you allowed this hurt, this, this situation to cut you too deep where you've, your heart's weeped too much blood. Like I really do feel like you need a heart transplant, a blood transfusion or something. I feel like you've lost too much of your juice you know what i'm saying it's like your juice like what made you you it's like someone like like uh, like they tap they tap some of the reserve like they stole some of your reserve like whatever you had in the reserve like someone stole some of it and it's like It's like your heart is still leaking. It's like leaking. Like someone, you know like how someone, they say someone kind of tapped your tank and like sifted some of your gas out or whatever. Like this person like gassed you up. But before they left the situation, it's like they tapped your tank and funneled some of that gas out to make sure that you, <laughs> like it's like they, they took all your gas out so you couldn't go nowhere. Like you could sit down, like you may not have no transportation or you may just be immobile. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like your heart is leaking, your tank is leaking, like everything is like, even when people try to fill your tank up, there's like a crack. It's like this person sifted some of some of your gas out of your tank before they left and it's like they punctured the, you know what I'm saying so they punctured the tank so like any type of fuel you would try to put in there would just seep out and would just leak so you would always stay in that position like or at least that's how you feel that they did you you know what I'm saying so I what is this the feral looks. I don't know how to. I I just know this is the temperance. I don't I don't know what type of language they talking, child. Like whatever, whatever. And I'm not about to see here looking stupid. But only thing I know is like right here. It's I feel like there's a lack of faith. There's a lack of creation. There's a lack of drive uh, within yourself with this Lord in the reverse being right there. So that's basically like the Emperor in the reverse. Excuse me. I'm about to say what's this on the side of my face? Um. I feel like you're getting a refill. You are getting like a different pack in your punch. Why am I getting? They don't have to call me back. I feel like you're getting a different pack in your punch right now. I feel like you've been drinking. I'm getting like, um, it's like some type of fruit punch, fruit punch power drink. It's like you're getting your, it's like you're trying to get your body back in shape. You're trying to get your mind and your spirit and your energy back together. It's like some new energy drink or like one of them workout drinks. What 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 is some things called? Um, it's like a Gatorade or something, but it says power on the bottle. That's what I'm saying. Like a red drink that says power on it. Like you have a. Uh, some new mixture or just some new drink or whatever that gives you power. It gives you the energy. It gives you the thrive. It gives you the belief system that you need to kind of get yourself going and get your body in shape. You know what I'm saying? So that you can start healing and start regenerating this energy and start loving and believing yourself and having faith. Like, you, like you're in the alchemist stage right now. It's like you just taking what you got 
figuring the correct like you want some Kimmy shit right now like you creating a new batch of some new powerful energy that you about to go out here and kill the streets with it's like you having to take whatever resources that you have left in you you realize that this motherfucker just taps your tank right but this time you don't even need that motor engine oil or that gas fluid you don't even you're not operating on no gas like you operating on like spiritual energy or something like this is like you get spiritual power like what is this this is this, uh what's them goddamn cars that they call it's like uh this is a hybrid car i don't know what the fuck y'all know what the hell i'm talking about them damn cars that um solar power energy you know what i'm saying like them cars that operate on solar power energy so it's like bitch you're not gonna be able to fucking tap my goddamn tank no more i don't even drive cars that operate on goddamn fossil fuel systems this is like solar power and like this is a whole different type of goddamn mechanism this is a whole something different i'm a whole something different now you know so i definitely feel like you guys are regenerating your faith you guys are mixing something together that can regenerate your energy so that you can get things going the way that you need to. And so can't nobody fuck with your faith and your energy and your spirituality and your and your belief system and yourself no more. Give me guidance for this broken heart and this, um, what is this here? The angel of love in the reverse. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay. Ooh, 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 okay. Come on. The star and the judgment. Come on now. Yes, you better come back out. Listen, what you... Come on. Okay? So now we got the star here. We got the judgment here. You guys have definitely... I, I feel rebirth. You guys uh had to go through that heartbreak. You guys had to suffer and go through that heartbreak. I think that God wanted all of that energy and all of that bullshit that you used to thrive on to drip out because... Whatever it was that had your heart was operating on, God needed that shit to be released from you because he didn't want you operating on that frequency anymore. He didn't want you attracting that type of love. Like, you're a star. Like, Taurus. Like, you're a fucking star. Like, you have something that don't nobody else got. Like... You really do, like, naturally, like, you're gifted and you have, I mean, fuck, you had the emperor right there. You're a leader. Like, you're a provider. You're a protector. No one else can do what the fuck you do. The kings come to the emperor for protection. Do you understand what I'm saying? You are like a dictator. You're the boss. I mean, not a, 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 in a negative way. You understand what I'm saying? But... Someone in a leadership position right now should never possess the power of envy. You know what I'm saying? You should want no one to envy yourself and you shouldn't envy anyone else. You should be very humble. You should be very loyal. You should be very dedicated, very dedicated to everyone that you have been um, given the gift to have in your life and to serve and protect. You know what I'm saying? It's a very honorable position. And I do feel like with that Lord in the reverse, like you could have let some of that power and that energy and shit gone to your head. Like you could have. I feel like you didn't play that position wisely for whatever reason. And that's why you're having to regain and like funnel some more spiritual shit into what you do that's that, that's why i feel like all of that old energy that, that you used to thrive on that shit had to come the fuck out right here with this judgment card i definitely feel like god is forgiving you for whatever it was that you used to do whatever it was that you used to do do you, you see how it's like god is calling you to reclaim your victory and to reassert yourself and to show yourself again you understand what I'm saying? So it's like you're getting a second chance to show that you can move in the right direction and to make answers for all your mistakes. I mean, answers in the way of you showing and proving 
that I'm ready. I, I, I listen. I know my purpose. I, I understand my gifts. I understand why you created me. I understand why you made the situation the way the way the situation the way it is. I understand why all of that shit should have seeped out. Like I'm not crying over that shit. I'm not tripping over that shit no more. You see how both of them are naked. It's like you could have come to God as naked and as humble as the day you were born. It's like I don't even need that shit no more. Like whatever the fuck you was on some power trip or you were power hungry or you were flaunting in front of other people. You wanted people to like desire you and envy you and, and, and you know crave for you. I do feel like there was some level of attention hardness and like you have an abuse of power. You know, and sometimes there was at one point in your life that issue. But I feel like God has healed you from that. Um, God has given you a chance to uh, reprieve yourself. He, and believe in yourself. And achieve for yourself in a different way. I feel like you're operating on a different set of faculties, a different set a belief system now and I want to say that you have changed and you're definitely you see how this person is being called out it's like you're being called out to reclaim your victory and show your growth give me guidance right here with the healer of ages because at first like I feel like you wasn't really trying to accept the healing Girl, child you got the world card then the world card just jumped out so again like you have accepted that this chapter needed to end. Like you've learned your lesson. And I feel like all is forgiven. Like you're safe to move forward. You're standing in your power. You understand your purpose. You have a different sense of life now. And then you know that. You know that. Um, you know. Taurus is fixed. You know so with this world. I definitely feel like I went through this process to release uh, so I could bring change into my life that's going to create some stability uh, that's going to last forever. Um, it may have took some time to heal because it takes some time to let go because we do, Taurus fix eyes, we don't like change. We like predictability. We like to be comfortable. So regardless, if it was something that needed to change because it was something that needed to change about you, Taurus, and, the way, and your style of leadership. Do you understand what I'm saying? The three of pentacles in the reverse. So I feel like um, it's time for you to go back to work. You really do need to sharpen up your skills and step up your training. Um, one thing about this world is things are not going to be laid easy for you. It's not, you know, just going to, it's not going to be um, any repeated mistakes because these are going to be completely new lessons. And you're going to have to educate yourself and you're going to have to listen and you're going to have to pay attention and, and, and uh, be focused. You're going to have to accept help. You know, I understand that you're the emperor and you think that you're the boss and you're the leader but you can be taught too so I feel like all of this that you've gone through has been a, a very um high level teachable moment um and again because again like it says the healer of ages has come to you and you have rejected their help to you uh, you've been help you've been rejecting assistance from people trying to help you grow and get you to listen and to get you to understand why all of that shit needed to seep out because it's a change of cycle like this is uh you being tested with your willingness and ability to learn and make changes in your leadership but you didn't want it you understand but the world is going to continue to change with or without you that's what you need to understand so the cycle that you went through is because there's a new chapter coming into your life and you can't reject this healing. You have to listen and it's time for growth and you need to accept help, you know, ain't nobody trying to say that you're dumb and you don't know anything, you know, but. There's going to be constant tests of your knowledge. There's going to be constant updates. 
You understand? Especially when you're moving into new phases. This is completely new. So this is uncharted territory for you. So if you are being resistant to the healing that you need to have to proceed or the lessons or the information that you're not, that you're going to need to retain when you're going into this new state of resistance, you're going to fail. Please understand that. So you not trying to sharpen up your skills or listen to what people are trying to teach you when no one is trying to hurt you. You're only hurting yourself. You understand? So this is uncharted territory and you need to accept help when people are trying to help you. Um, the emperor is all powerful. And, but understand all things change. And you can get assistance as well. So don't block the blessings of you know, other people that may have a different set of skills, they may have a different set of wisdom that they're trying to teach you. And then once you teach, once they teach you, like you can't be untaught. You already know it for yourself and then you won't need them anymore. So allow people to just show you this skill so that you can grow. Listen, opposition. Stop being like. It's like if someone tells you. We need to go this way because the resources is on the right side on a platter. You have to find some type of way to be opposing to what every, you know what I'm saying? It's like trying to be difficult for no reason. So don't be the opponent to your blessing. Like you don't want to fight with your own self and fight with people that want you to win. You understand what I'm saying? No one's not saying that you can't go left, but right now it's not the time to make the left turn. God said this shit is this way. So don't try to just, well, I want to see if it's going to go far, hit a left, you know what I'm saying? And buckle you and come back around to the right. But why are you wasting time? Like, why are you trying to like be so resistant? That's the three of pentacles. That is this like, don't be resistant to change and like you're trying to just be divisive. Like don't, don't do that. Please don't do that. You're hurting yourself. This is opposite views, personal differences, a communication gap, disharmony, misunderstanding, estrangements. So, and I'm also getting it's like certain people don't want to put up with you because you are so, it's like you're so difficult. You, you're, you're so reluctant to change. Like you don't want to listen. Like you always think whatever you say is right. That's why the emperor is in the reverse. Um, that's not good. That's not good leadership. That's not good leadership there. So you need to possess different qualities. And then you got the following. Loyalty, adaptability, cooperation, trust, reliability, sensitive to others, service, receiving guidance. I'm trying to tell you. Pay attention to the people that. I feel like you have a good following. There's a lot of people that support you and that love you. And once you stop being so opposing like stop resisting their help like allow people to help you like we'll come with you to whatever it is that you like we'll, we'll we'll come with you we'll support you you're the star like we understand and then again it's like you can feel like you're being judged with the judgment like, people got their eyes on you, like, as you're going through this transition, you trying to put things together and trying to rebut. Like, it's like, you might want to do this by yourself. Like, you might not want your family and your friends support and help and shit. That's, that's why the Lord is in the reverse. Like, the whole community is supposed to support the emperor. Like, you, it's like you trying to make a mountain out of a molehill for no reason like just let us help you just let us support you you know what i'm saying you have people that are loyal to you that are faithful to seeing this growth and this transition for you you got people that's rooting for you so don't block our love it's like 
like don't be so opposing to everything you we gotta say can you just listen to us for once can you just listen give me guidance to opposition please like if we say we be going up you going down the five of bows like empowerment so it's it's like you create competition and disagreements and you always throw out opposing views because that's just how you empower yourself it's like you just want to be different from the rest of, it's like you 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 just want to be different from the norm you want to have your own standard of way of thinking even if it may be backwards a little bit but it's like eventually it's like this because i literally um had a conversation with a Taurus the other day and it was so frustrating because it's like why do i feel like i'm like everything that i say like you're so opposed it to anything that i say when literally it's like we're saying the same things you're just so determined to want to have to say it differently so it has to come out of your mouth instead of mine but you literally just said the same thing that i said in a different fucking way like that's all you really not saying nothing too different than what the hell i said you just had to skip around the corner and go all the way around the mulberry bush just to come to the same fucking conclusion because you're trying to be a fucking asshole do you understand so again it's like it's an empowering thing for you just to remain different and have an opposing view and not agreeing with others and things like that because you want to find it out yourself it's like you have to say it yourself in a different way but those arrows are landing nowhere it's like it's, it's, it's not it's like you're not landing a punch <laughs> you know what i'm saying like at the end of the day you don't agree with us and we don't agree with you so it's just like everyone is just sitting on opposite sides of the table and not listening to, to each other and it's not helping anything or anybody you know what i'm saying so you have to find a different way and a different outlook and a different form of communication of how to um communicate with people because it's like i'm can't i'm kind of getting like and look and then you see this you see like this big dick energy like i'm strong i'm bigger than y'all i just uh 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 it's like this super authentic ultimate masculine macho type of can't nobody tell me shit and yeah if y'all say left i'm saying right y'all say black i'm saying white like you know what i'm saying the ace of arrows so what this is this is basically saying like this is truth clarity like vision you know it's like you see what the people say about you you know the truth. You know that you could be a difficult person. And sometimes you know that you could possibly overly aggressive with your views and your beliefs. You know that your beliefs may not be um, the same. I feel like you know that. You know that. You know that. It's, I don't know why. It's like, why the hell do they have his dick pointed upright like that? Why, why has that? It's something about this person has like such a macho. Like, I'm grab my, I'm grab my balls. Like, nah, cause y'all going, nah, cause it's something about like some big dick macho man energy that is just like tripping me out right here. And what is this? The seven of stones. So again, this is healing patience so again do you see how this the green lady you see how this man has clearly gone through some type of battle um because the five of the, the five of bows is going through battle it's going through conflict it's going through disagreement opposing views people not understanding each other people not listening to each other fights like seriously so it's like I feel like 
you don't have to fight. I want you to put your swords down. I want you to put your arrows down. I want you to just be patient and allow people to pray over you and allow the healing that your body needs. Like, we need you to rest. We need you to be able to um, wake up in the morning and be focused and pay attention and be vigilant towards your blessings. Like, the early bird always gets the worm. So, like, the seven of stones is like um, someone who have their intention set towards positivity and growth. You know, they're constantly focused on making the best out of their day. You know, like they're not missing the beat. They always in the streets. They're always like promoting like to me, like this is a promoter. It's like you're promoting your talent. You're promoting your gifts, you know. So it's like. How are you going to be the star and people going to know who you are if you're resisting to people trying to tell you stop being so active? Like, take some time and heal um, so that you could go out and do what we need you to do. Like, this is someone that could have possibly got just had like a surgery because I'm getting like the three of swords here. Even though I, I, I haven't seen the three of swords yet. I'm getting the three of swords. So... Yeah, the three of swords. So, like, the three of swords can literally represent surgery. It's like, remember I said, like, a heart transplant or, like, a, a blood transfusion. Like, you just went through a serious procedure, right? And it's like, you're not trying to listen to people. You want to do what you want to do. And people may be giving you, like, follow-up care instructions. And it's like, you're going completely opposite to that. You're being combative and you you want to do, like, you know with the Ace of Swords. You know what I'm saying? You know the truth. You know what you need to do. You're very smart, but at the same time, you're rejecting, like, a nurse assistant. You're rejecting the aid or something like that. And it's like, allow these people to pray over you. Allow your body to rest so that you can, like, operate on your full potential. This is the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is someone just waiting and being patient and just focusing their energy positively, using the best of their day. Trying to get the best out of their day because they want a full harvest. The Seven of Pentacles in the reverse is someone who is not paying attention, who is not focused, who is impatient, Who's really running out of luck because whatever you plan it ain't going to grow at all because you ain't been paying attention to it and you ain't been focused on your blessings. Stop getting in your own way with this three of pentacles and this healer of ages in the reverse and this opposition and this follow one. Like you know truthfully what you need to do and you know how you get in your own way. And you know like you're a victim of your own shit sometimes. You really need to stop it. Because you're only hurting yourself and you're only hurting your growth. And you are rejecting healing. So allow people to use their energy to help guide you. To help provide for you. Like sometimes when the emperor goes down like you can get injured. You can get battle wounds. You know what I'm saying? That's what happened being the emperor sometimes. What you got all of these nurse aides and all these people in your court that's supposed to be there for you if you don't allow them to do what they're being paid to do what you have them there for. So if you just want to lay there and suffer and feel bad for yourself, then that's on you. But what God is trying to tell you, he's giving you a new body. He's giving you new strength. He's giving you new skills. He's showing you your purpose. He's giving you a new sense of life. So a lot, don't block our teachings. Allow us. Okay? What is this? The three of stones. You see, like, it's, okay, now you, now you, now you're willing to accept it. You see how this person is gripping on tight? <laughs> it's like you're gripping on tight. I don't know if, because uh, right now the three of stones, like, this is giving me, like, things. For, oh, child, and then the devil just popped out. Child, I feel like the devil scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> hey, father, hey, young, why did the devil just flew out like a big, bad monster, like the big, bad boogeyman? I really do feel like 
Number one, you're safe and secure. Number one, the like three of stones to me represents security. It does represent help. Like that is help. So I feel like you just got help. Like you just received help in the nick of time. Like the devil just come and kind of distract you. And you're like, no, hold on. I wouldn't listen now. Like, no. <laughs> hey, Father, hey, listen. It is something that be going on in Taurus life. Let me try to tell you, there is a big bad boogeyman. There's like a mom. Because do you see how the Taurus is planted in this growth now? They're planted in this healing. They're planted in educating themselves. They're planted. Like they're rooted in that shit. Because whatever demon, whatever, like, it's like, it's something that, um, uh, I don't know if it was this love situation that came around again. It's like something that's been haunting the Taurus. It's something that they have a, an addiction to. Um, something that they've been scared to let go. And I feel like they've been dealing with whatever this is for so long. They finally got in the position where they're not blocking the healing. They're not fighting to let go. And it's like as soon as they started to listen and let go and get in the correct position and things start coming around for them. Because I feel like this is job security right here. Because this is security. This is security. You see how this person is grounded. They're planted. Like as soon as your roots and things started growing for you, here come the devil coming around trying to flaunt something in your face trying to hold something over your head trying to make you want something again go back in that old position after you finally see like blessings growing around you and it's like you are safe and secure now that you're not fighting with yourself and that you're in the process of learning like you actually want to be here so it's like I don't know why you're coming around, but I'm not I'm not willing to go. I don't want to go. It's like you scare me now. It's something like you are accepting the gift, and I'm trying to tell you, uh, uh, cause this envy card it it does represent the devil. It's low vibration thinking. It's like I don't want to be envious no more. I don't want. I'm not looking at. What was taken from me, what I lost anymore, and mad because someone's in a position that, you know what I'm saying? I'm not thinking like that no more. I know it's certain things that I need to step up my commitment, and I need to change, and I need to be more balanced and focused, and I need to get back on my shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, this ain't the way that I really want to be, so that's why I'm coming to the situation different. I'm really bringing... My blessings, like, God showed me what I have to be blessed about. This is someone that is really bringing, like, this is like the God card, where someone wasn't operating on a high vibrational level. It's like I'm pouring spiritual gifts and spiritual teachings into my life, and things are turning around for me. Like, I have a following now, people that protect me, that are loyal. I'm adapting now. I'm cooperating. Now, over here, you wasn't cooperating. You trustful now. You're reliable now because you know that the, the, the emperor in the reverse, that is not a reliable person. That is not someone that you trust. That is not someone that's sensitive to others. You understand? Because over here, I don't think you were being very critical. You were being opposite, opposing to anything that anyone has to say. And you weren't really giving a fuck about what people have to say in the reverse. You know, you were taking a, a was abuse of power. Um, because you mad at someone else. That ain't mad at you because they live in their best life. That's someone being in an envious place, you know. You are being a person of service now. You are receiving guidance now. Like, everything is, everything is where it's supposed to be. You finally grounded. You working now? Like everything, everything is working. Like everything is working together. And as soon as things start working, here come the motherfucking devil trying to taunt you with some old shit. Trying to remind you of some shit that you used to do. Trying to remind you why you shouldn't be growing and moving in that direction. These motherfuckers don't love you. Blase, blase, blah. Clarify the devil for me, please. Because I don't like this motherfucker right here. The page of arrows in the reverse. It's like they want you. It's like he wants you to focus and 
redirect your energy on some past shit. I want you to look back at that person that you used to envy. Like really is trying to remind you of something. Like that's the stalker card. This is like something that is lurking around from the past. Something that... It's like something that's hidden. You know what I'm saying? So it's like someone could just pop up from out of nowhere and decide that they want to communicate with you. But this is something that you know was a crush for you, was that toxic addiction. It could have been this. It could have been this thing that you were trying to let go. And like now this thing wants to come and pop up and want to peek its head up. And you just like, oh, hell no. Like I'm not, I'm not leaving. You know, so I definitely feel like. And then with the page of. The page of arrows in the reverse. It's like. I've studied for a long time. And I know. The requirements that comes with you. It's like I know the requirements that come with you. I know your energy. I know if I. Pay attention to anything that you have to say. I know what's going to come around and get me in the background. I, like I, this is someone that's not stupid. This is someone that is highly educated. This is someone that's not just jumping out there off of the first thing that this person flaunts in front of you and says. It's like hell no, I'm about to sit. No hell no, hell no. Give me guidance in regards to how Taurus is feeling in love. It's like you scared. Like the things that you used to be tempted by. And because like the, the page of arrows, the page of swords in reverse is like the enemy card. It's like an enemy or spy on the camp. Like some like your enemy lurking around the vicinity. Like you needing to step up your alarm system. Like this is like, you know, an alarm system. Like your alarm system going off. Like you being alert. You know what I'm saying? Like hell no. Like I already know what the fuck you up to. You trying to fuck my life up again. You trying to remind me of some old shit. You trying to trigger me. It's like something's trying to come around and trigger you about some shit that you ain't giving a fuck about no more. You got the Hugh Hefner car. And this came out in the reverse. So again, I feel like... Why are they saying something about someone being homeless? Oh, it's like, okay. This person isn't in the same position anymore. It's like, you might have lost all the girls. You might have lost all of the friends. Like, I don't even feel like you want it anymore. It's like, I don't feel like you want it anymore. Like, this rebirth here with the judgment, I, I don't feel like you want to be known for that. Like, you want to be a star in your own right. I don't want to be known for having all of these bitches around me. And, like, motherfuckers care more about the bitches than they give a fuck about me. It's like, yeah, I might have been profiting from everything but it's just like, I just feel like I feel like someone doesn't want to be known as a playboy anymore mm. it says make every night a one night stand long term relationships are great have as many as you can surround yourself with young partners to stay fit so it's like that that lifestyle and shit just might be growing old The Hierophant in, I mean, not the Hierophant in the verse, but the Emperor in the verse. It's like, I don't want to be, I'm not trying to victimize women. I'm not trying to, mm-mm. It's like, I feel like it's like the devil trying to come around you and flaunt that player lifestyle around you like that. And I really do feel with this star and this rebirth here, it's like you trying to change, you trying to come pure. Yeah, I definitely feel like you you was opposed to learn a, a, a different way. It might have took for you to get your heart broken for you to wake up like this isn't the type of lifestyle that's a positive one to keep. And it's like, I feel like the devil is coming around trying to tempt you with that old en energy. And it's like you finally changed. You're finally learning. You tweaked. You know what I'm saying? You, you tweaked your inner chemistry. Like, there could have been a chemical imbalance. Look, you got the four of wands and then you got the knight of cups here. Like, you want, you want marriage. You want commitment. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't want that no more. I don't goddamn Hugh Hafner shit. Like, I don't want to have no one night stands. I want commitment. I want marriage. I want loyalty. The emperor in the reverse is definitely someone that is not a committed 
person. Like I told you, you could have been power hungry. Um, just not being responsible. You could have lost that title. And that's why I said that envy in the reverse is like, you could have watched somebody run off with your bride. You know what I'm saying? Because you didn't want to be responsible. You wasn't doing what you needed to do. Clearly with this Hugh Hefner in the reverse. And you don't want to do that no more. Like, you being rebirthed. Like, you understand your purpose. You really get it now. I definitely feel like you are in a position to open up your heart to love again in a healthy, um, romantic. I feel like you, you want romance. I feel like you want fun. Like, to me, this is like travel, good times, drinking, taking pictures, new memories, like, I definitely feel like you want good food, travel, a wonderful time, a lot of celebrations, people coming over. I feel like you're excited. Like, I feel like then whoever this tourist man is has been even thinking about what their wedding day will look like, like what they're going to wear. Like, oh my God, I'm seeing this shit. Y'all niggas is too fancy. Like, y'all tourist men, y'all be dressing y'all ass off. That's why someone is trying to get their money together with this three of coins right here. It's like you're trying to rebuild. You're trying to get your money together. It's like I don't know why I was resisting this learning anyway. Like literally it was like my low vibrational bullshit trying to get the best of me. And I, it's like whenever that shit peaks up, I know it's like I know it's. An enemy in disguise. You know what I'm saying? It's like I have to change my own thinking. I'm not about to defeat myself. And I'm not about to let no negative energies from my past or what I used to do, who I used to be, come back around and haunt me and fuck up my, my new position in life. I want something better. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like someone had to go through something where they lost a great deal. Something that was very important to them. Like this person had to go do getting their heart broken and I want to say go through like a very heavy uh, bout of depression um, where they just are not even just not even acting it so like seriously you got the passion this is the passion came out in reverse so I feel like you trying to regain your passion and learn how to love again. I just feel like it's going to take time. Um, but this is what you want though. You definitely want marriage. You want commitment. I don't feel like you, there's anyone that you really feel passionate for right now. And that's okay. You know what I'm saying? That's okay. It'll come in time. Right now I feel like you really focus on that three of pentacles right there. You're focusing on. Yeah. It's like you're not talking to nobody. Yeah. So the talking is in the reverse, the love is in the reverse, and then the acts again. So again, the passion came out in the reverse, and the passion says insane chemistry, liking each other equally, having fun. There's no one in your life that you feel like that about. You're not talking to anybody. That's why talking is in the reverse. I don't feel like you're talking to anybody. I feel like you're focusing on your money and how to resist the enemy, like seriously, because that's the axis on the devil. You got the love in the reverse. You're not passionate right now. You're not talking to no one. Um, there's no one in your life that you love because I really do feel like you are still cutting out. It says breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. You are trying to control your addictions and... Uh, I feel like you're recognizing the shit for and people for who they are. Not only people, but yourself, your own energy. You know what I'm saying? It's like I'm trying to separate and stop being attracted to and talking to all these old people. You know what I'm saying? And doing the things that I used to do. I'm like really focusing on my growth and I'm not trying to get in my own way. So I'm not communicating to these people, even if they do come back around like hell no. Like that would be me defeating my own purpose and my own positive energy that I've been creating. Listen, the heart with the key. 
It says welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, perfect again. I definitely feel like there's no one in your life that you're passionate about right now. There's no one that you're talking to that really has that importance to you. You're still cutting out and trying to repossess positive energy in your life. Um, you could be, again, I feel like faced with some level of temptation, but you quickly look at this. Like you see deeply, like you look deep. You're not just looking at the surface level like, oh shit, that, that looks like, like, no, that looks like the devil. Fuck no. Like, I, I feel like you're paying attention. You're paying attention and you're definitely making wise decisions now. Um, because you want your heart to open up. It's just you need the one that is actually going to obtain the key to your heart. And if you're not passionate about it, you're not making moves. And I feel like you're not, like, really tripping on talking to nobody right now. Just because something, look like, something looks nice, you know everything that glitters is gold. You know what I'm saying? Because motherfuckers might have thought that about you, but you had a whole bunch of bitches. You know what I'm saying? So you could have been that toxic person for somebody else, you know? And I also feel like you are over people envying you and your flock of bitches. It's like you don't want no flock of bitches no more. You just want one person with the key to your heart. I, I, you don't need a whole bunch of people. So, again, I feel like you're cutting the axe to all, all these people. You don't need all of that shit no more. What is this? The five of swords in the reverse. So, again, it's like... You're finally realizing that you might have put yourself in a lose-lose situation. And this is like wising up. You know, like, I was hurting myself and I was hurting others. So, I'm willing to change those patterns. Um, I feel like you're coming to the table with a more sensible approach. Mm, you could be willing, like, agreeing to, disabe uh, agreeing to disagree. We don't need to have the same opinions all the time. And then... I'm even willing to like hear you out and understand where you're coming from. Like I'm not trying to stab nobody in the back and be aggressive and be decisive. And you know what I'm saying? It's like someone trying to diffuse the situation and trying to come to a common ground. I don't want to fight. I don't want to, you know, the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is like. The Ten of Wands right here, this is a very positive energy. Like, I don't want to argue. I don't want to fight. I don't want to constantly be opposing to everything you say and everything you want to do. Like, I just want to change the patterns of what... I just want to change my patterns and I want us to work together and reach this common goal together. You know what I'm saying? Like... I need someone with support. Typically, the Ten of Wands is someone that is trying to do everything on their own when they should have had a partner with them. Like, you could have got there faster if you would have had adequate support. This is like the Ten of Wands is like someone that promised to help you to get something or go somewhere or to have a common goal. Like, we were supposed to do this together and they left you hanging. This time, it's like... I'm not going to let my words, I'm not going to let my temperament, me thinking that I know everything. I feel like that was pushing people away. Like the Lord, that emperor in the reverse, it's like a power trip. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I really do need people to help me. It's like, I'm tired. It's like, I feel like you were pushing people away at some point. And right now, you're coming to negotiations. You're, you can agree to disagree. And it's like if you finally stop being so combative and understand what you were doing to get in your own way, like you can have that commitment and you can reach the destination together, you know? So, and then this is the five of chalices in the reverse. So it's like you're finally over the morning and feeling sorry for yourself and thinking about shit from the past like you're finally paying attention to what's in front of you i feel like you have someone that is there it's definitely not the person from your past this is someone like why do i feel like you've had someone there this whole time taurus that has been trying to help you 
Look, this person has been trying to pray over you, been trying to nurture you, been trying to help you heal the whole time, but you were being combative, you know, like you were being resistant, you were you were being a dick. Like, look, you were being a fucking dickwad. Like, I really do feel like you were being a fucking dick. And this person was there the whole time. Like, the whole time. This person could have been waiting on you. Like, the Seven of Pentacles is someone waiting, being patient. It's like this person could have been patient. Waiting for you to come around, like, accept their healing like this is and then you got the nine of pentacles so it's like once you finally turn around and realize like i do need help um i, I kind of want to say stop being so fucking aggressive and like really pour love and faith into your life into your heart and your lifestyle i want to say this is someone that was operating off of the hugh hefner in reverse it was operating on a very low vibration um like you might have had a lot of money you might have had a lot of fame a lot of notoriety you might have had a lot of women and all of that stuff i feel like you had to lose all of that shit and someone hurt you that really meant a lot to you. But you could have hurt this person by your lifestyle. It took for someone to take someone someone else to take what you felt was your possession. Because you know the emperor in the reverse is, could be a very possessive dictator. You know what I'm saying? Power hungry. Big dick energy. Like can't no one beat me. Can't no one defeat me. Yeah they did. Someone did. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like it had to... You had to lose something... To learn how to negotiate. Learn how to accept help from people. And learn how to help yourself and stay out of your way. Things are growing now. Remember I told you this person was praying over you. And praying for you. And was hoping that you stop being combative and... Allow them to help you heal and show you a different way of life. This person helped you realize how to tweak your medicine to pour some faith into you. Um, cause I want to say that you were low, you you were definitely vibrating low. Cause now when you see the shit that you used to do and who you used to be, that shit scared the fuck out of you. You're like, hell no, I'm not going back to that. I'm not going back to that. Uh -uh, mm -mm, mm -mm, hell no. Hell no. You had to experience this to find personal success in your life. You had to stop crying over what was lost and realize that God didn't want you to have that no more. Remember, it was like they took all of that gas out of you that the like, the devil will gas you up. You know what I'm saying? Constantly making you feel like ain't nothing wrong with the way you act. And it's okay to be Hugh Hefner. Listen, listen what Hugh Hefner said. Make every night a one-night stand. Long-term relationships are great. Have as many as you can. Surround yourself with young partners to stay fit. Like, that, mm -mm. that wasn't this. Now you just want one partner. You know? Now you're receiving the full harvest, the full benefit, like you're healed. You're being filled up with some spiritual shit. Remember, it's like spiritual power. Remember, it's like that Gatorade, like something that replenishes your electrolytes. It fills you up. It gives you not temporary energy. It replenishes what you need on the inside. So it's a constant thing, not something... Not just a power booster like one of them, uh, what's it? Red Bull. Not a Red Bull. Not a Red Bull. Like, you need Gatorade. You need power. Red Bull is like a temporary, a temporary fix to give you a whole bunch of energy, a whole bunch of caffeine and shit, which isn't good for you. It fucks your body up. You know what I'm saying? In the long run. And then when you crash, you crash and you fall hard. Like, that's not what you want. This one was trying to teach you a different way and it helped you to get over your past and stop mourning over that shit so you can see future blessings so that like prosperity and abundance could pour into your life and 
That's what's happening to you. I don't see you doing it by yourself. Like you stop arguing with this person. Stop standing in your own way, making things difficult. Cause I want to. I feel like you might have hurt this person too. Cause with the five of swords, like this is like you were all out for self. Like you could have with the Lord in the reverse, in this. Like this person was trying to help you and you could have been manipulative to this person and like I said extremely opposed it to anything this person was trying to do or say to help you um but I do see things coming around I do see things coming around Taurus so again like accept help there's there's definitely someone around you that loves you and they see this, they see this energy around you and up one like they've been praying for you. So, um, like accept the help. You don't have to do it alone. And I don't think you need to be alone right now. You know? So don't push good people away. Alright? Stay balanced. Pour that faith in you. Alright? I love you, Taurus. Thank you for loving me. Love yourself. I will see you guys in 2021.